All right, guys, here we go. Episode 137. This week, Arizona State's taking on Northwestern, my old school. And I'm actually rated pretty good, surprisingly. Uh, an 88, a 98, an 88. Even though nobody on my team's a 90, I don't know how that's possible. Uh, I can't be rated that high, but I am. Top players, I got a wide receiver, a left outside linebacker, and a free safety. Hopefully, hopefully we can get the win. That would be very nice. Um, jumping into the game. I got the ball, start the game. First series, doing pretty good. Third and four, dump it off to Harvey. I think he's my go-to receiver. Uh, nice little first down gain. I'll take it. I'll take it. Next next play, drop back to pass. Do I have all day throw? Throw it in the triple coverage. My old safety picks it off, cuts back, gets a nice block, gets more blocks. Makes me look ridiculous. <laughs> and no catching him. I guess that speed threshold did make a difference because my quarterback wasn't catching that safety, and I'm pretty sure he is faster. So that's how you start the game. Uh, start the season with your new team. You throw a pick, and it's the pick six. So we hold them, or we go three and out, hold them after great punt and almost block it. Not quite, not quite, um, but we made them punt it regardless on a fourth and 12. Almost got to it. I was hoping I could pull an Italian and block the punt because I've never done it. And he's the only one I've ever seen do it, but no, no such luck. Second and five, drop back to pass. Hit B on a nice little pick play. <laughs> and Harvey, there, there he is again. Nice little touchdown pass, Jalen Harvey. I'm telling you, he's going to be my go-to dude. And we get back on the board, or we get on the board, 7-7. Seven, seven. Third and six, drop back to pass. Have all day to throw it, going across the middle. Makes a great diving catch, gets hit in midair, and still holds on to it. Siegel was a pretty good receiver, that's for sure. First and goal, drop back to pass. Dumps it off to Dickerson, who I think is the main tight end now, maybe the backup. And they take the lead again, 14-7. to seven. So into the first quarter, drop back to pass. Dump it off to find my tight end. You see him backpedal back right there? Feel fine? Yeah, he was trying to get in the end zone, didn't quite make it. Ballage, Ballage, Kalen. I'm going to say Balage. <laughs> Gets in the end zone. The next play ties it up 14-14. Third and six. Luke jumps the route. Luke, star corner. Welcome. I like a guy that can pick off the ball and doesn't bat it down every time. So that sets us up real good. First and goal. Hand off to Richard this time. Demario. Or Demario. I want to say Demario. Richard. To get the lead for us. 21-14 is about time. Dumps off to Sherman underneath. Runs over a dude. Takes like five guys to tackle him. Dad, come it. Sets him up first and goal before the end of the into the first half throws it to the end zone and luke again with a sweet pick and breaks tackle and i uh, thought about taking it out but didn't want to risk it we'll take the ball in 20 25 whatever it is luke again coming through huge and we have a nice series with a spin move oh my gosh a spin move kaylin i want to i want to love you dude you got that spin move down that brings us up 28 14. after the kickoff very next play i got three deep Throws it to Porter, who was like 6'7", and a really fast receiver, and nobody was going to catch him. Nobody was going to catch him. That's that's what it should be like. Nobody would catch him. Nobody's going to catch him. And they get on the board, bring within seven. I still have some time left. They left too much time on the clock. Dump it right past Cooper's head. If he had turned his head to the right and stuck his hands out, that would have been a pick. Luckily, he did not. So going into the half, we got the lead, the 35-21. We're looking all right. We're looking pretty good. Um, passing stats. Look at that. Our rushing stats are horrible. We've thrown the ball almost 250 yards, had the ball for eight minutes. Done pretty good. And it wouldn't even be a close game if I hadn't thrown a pick six. Second nine, drop back to pass, and I throw it to Cooper. And that's a pick six. <laughs> so I've given him two defensive touchdowns off two turnovers. And that's that's horrible. That's horrible. That brings them within four. They get the ball again, and they score a touchdown off of it. So they take the lead, just like that, 38-35. Into the fourth quarter now, fourth and 18. I'm taking my points. I thought about risking it, but no. I want my points and ties it back up. So third and 14, drop back the pass. Has all day to throw it. Throws it up again. And Luke, Luke the Duke, man. That guy could pick the ball off like crazy. That's his third interception of the game. That's exactly what we need with two minutes left. And, and, and Anton, Antoine, whatever. You're Luke. First and goal. Set this up great. Running up the middle right here. I was I wasn't gonna be happy with the field goal. I'll take a touchdown. Will Jennings puts us up 45 to 38. Very happy about that. They get the ball. Last ditch effort. Hail Mary for the win. And ball says, I don't think so. Give me that ball. User pick to end the game. Our fourth of the of the of the game, man. That is insane. I don't think I picked off that many in a two game span, let alone one with Northwestern. So very happy about that. Go come into Illinois, beat my team. And get the win. Luke, player of the game, three tackles, one for a loss, one assist, and three picks. Huge, huge performance by my defense. And my offense needs to stop throwing touchdowns to the other team. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. And sometimes that happens. Look at the games around the country. UCLA gets the win. It's the only one that was ranked. It's the only one that matters. And we beat them in every category except for time of possession. We didn't throw the ball much after that. We held on to the ball, ran it, got some yardage. Player of the game, 
Balaj and Luke. I'm used to looking at Northwestern. Huge game for them. Very excited to see how the rest of the season goes. And we'll be right back with the advance. All right, guys, good to show the highlights from the game against Northwestern. Ended up pulling out a close game. Uh, very fortunate I got the win there. <laughs> Even with the turnovers, the pick sixes, we prevailed, which is nice. Especially because I went to Northwestern and, and beat them. So, yeah, see so everybody else did. Um, Penn State and NC State ended up not getting together to play the game. Um, they, like, like I said last time, they're rivals. Um, they really weren't looking forward to playing each other. And they didn't get the chance to. So instead of having one person autopilot and the other person play, I'm just going to let it go to a stem because they couldn't get together. And that's what we're going to do. Iowa had a bye week. Uh, Texas A&M ends up winning 56-28. Clemson had a bye week. Nebraska ends up winning 35-28. Washington State wins 41-21. Pretty good game there. Missouri wins 48-35. So almost the exact same score I had. <laughs> Pitt had a bye week. Mid Tennessee State wins 20 to 14. Close game there. And then Oklahoma State had a bye week. So we're going to advance it, see what everybody's doing uh, of week two. And we'll be right back. All right, just got done with the advance in week two. This week, play against Packers Rodgers. I don't think I've played him in like a couple of years. I don't think since we reset the dynasty for sure. But he requested to play myself in the Italian, I'm pretty sure, this year. So I made it happen. I'm um, anxious to see how that goes. We're both 1-0 to start the season, and um, I'm looking forward to it because it's my home opener, and hopefully I win. And recruiting-wise, I've already cut down my board down to, like, I had 34. I'm down, like, 23. Two people already committed. I'm like, man, forget this crap. I'm not going to fight for people. I just want people that are interested in my school this year, especially rebuilding a two-star team. So I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with that. Let's see. Merck ended up losing to NC State. Wow. Wow, that's like his first loss ever and it came on a sim. <laughs> I was like, it's for, I think that's his first loss since I beat him when he was Florida State and we first joined. Been a long time. Iowa plays Clemson. First time Clemson gets a game in. Anxious to see what Snapperman1007 or Unknown Gamer can do. Um, like I said, I want everybody to see that video. NC State's got a bye week. Texas A&M's got a bye week. Clemson plays Iowa. Nebraska plays Oklahoma State. The Titans going to finally have a game play for you. Um, I think he's got, uh, he had a bye week, two users, bye week, user, bye week, and then he's packed the rest of the season. So um, be, be on the lookout for that next week uh, for, for his, his video. But in the meantime, make sure you check out his other stuff. He's been putting up a lot of videos, man. Golly. He's been keeping keeping the the video watching busy with, with no football, that's for sure. Um, Washington State is playing Pitt. Missouri's got a bye week. Pitt plays Washington State. I play mid Tennessee State. And Oklahoma State plays Nebraska. So a lot of users. Was that one, two, three user games? So that's half of the dynasties playing each other. <laughs> Checking out the top 25, see what kind of change there. Uh, I know there's a little bit of shakeups. USC dropped one. Merck went from, or Penn State went from three to nine. He dropped a long ways, losing to NC State. And I hate for that to happen. Like I said, I don't think he's been beat since he's joined pretty much um but like i said they couldn't get a hold of each other couldn't couldn't play so it is what it is man i can't do anything about it yeah definitely can't now because it's been advanced <laughs> um then we got oklahoma state moved up iowa missouri we still got a lot of people ranked uh clemson's number 19 northwestern went from 10 to 24 i was ranked way down there my gosh i forgot to look at that i'm pretty sure forgot to look at that championship continues this is where you see where everybody's ranked without having to deal with it. I am now 47th. So whatever I was before that, uh, I am now 47th. But you can see uh, your ranking outside the top 25, in case you didn't know that. Um, see where everybody else is rated. mid Tennessee State's 33. Nebraska's 38. Texas a and 40. And then I think I'm last at 40. No, 47, 48. Myself in Washington State. I mean, look at that. In 2019, I'm a 92. Ah, looking good, man. Hopefully this recruiting year will will stop that. <laughs> I will I would like to see that for sure. I'm actually gonna gonna reset it because um, I want to see where Northwestern's rated. Because like I said, I recruited my butt off of that school. I got a lot of good people. Yeah, twenty four five two one. Yeah, and I left that, but I beat him, so I'm happy. <laughs> it was it was a good call. It's time for a change. I mean, three seasons with the same school. Um, that's about the time you build them up, and then. And then you go, and then you go, and you move on. 
But that's going to be it, man. We got Mid-Tennessee State ready to play Packers Rodgers. I'm excited. Um, like I said, I don't think I've played him in a while at the very least. If I, if I had, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been, like, what, a month since we played a game. <laughs> but we're, we're ready to go. We're rolling right now. That's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.